Good morning, folks. As we watch the sunspots depart from the Earth-facing positions, we've got news coming on weather, Earth and Mars, the spark of life, and the cosmos. We're going to start with our star at spaceweathernews.com and find the most equatorial extension of the coronal hole from the south, about to cross heliographic center longitude. That's an alert for larger magnitude seismicity and volcanoes. Now, As the sunspots depart, the plasma filaments do begin returning to the incoming limb. Pretty little dance there and we go to the solar wind. The stream is slowly waning back from the peak two days ago, breaking under 400 kilometers per second this morning and leaving geomagnetic conditions calm and quiet for about 48 hours. Eyes on Australia, after rains and lower wind speeds got the fires more under control, awful conditions including record heat are on deck. Meanwhile, the nice January we enjoyed in the States is over. The cold will return in the coming days as the jet stream begins to dip once again. Here in Colorado Springs, for example, we're going from near record high today to negative eight in two days. That jet stream dip is going to eventually shift across the country, but it's not going to do so in any sort of hurry. Let's go out to Mars because they say the red planet's orbital and tilt instabilities on rare occasions can cause tremendous melting of CO2 polar ice, flooding the atmosphere with gases. Now the interesting thing is Mars used to look like Earth, they say, except Earth used to be more like Mars in terms of the atmospheric chemistry. It's why the plants were able to almost eat themselves to death and cover the world. So will Earth become like Mars if it's losing the magnetic field? Or could an instability shift on Mars, turn it into an Earth one day? These two new discoveries bring up that question, as well as the potential for planets to do shifts between Earth and Mars-like conditions over time. And if that's the case, these shifts would include a tremendous amount of electricity. They have officially solidified what a team of young women at NASA did seven years ago, combined organic molecules into full amino acids with a mere spark. Let's go to space and see three cosmological papers of importance out of the Astronomy and Astrophysics Journal today. The first comes from Hubble where they are realizing that intrinsic components of galaxies are polluting their color spectrum, and this top team of scientists claim a major reassessment and refinement of these astronomical observations and analysis techniques is needed, I'll say. Moving on, we find one of the ABO clusters, 2593, containing a number of galaxies grouped together, and piercing their intra-cluster medium is a phenomenal radio structure at sub-gigahertz frequencies. This band is not well studied, and these types of massive structures, millions of light years across, are literally hiding in plain sight. At least until this team figured out how to spot this missing mass, the rest shall follow. And last but not least, while their study of the cosmic web is still very, very nascent, they have found a galaxy cluster that is clearly at a central node in the web of filaments. It's the coma cluster, like a spider in its web, they say, revealing ties to other structures and clusters and connectivity with multiple systems. These types of studies, all three of the cosmological ones we heard today, are the type that find us help the flaws in the current science and reveal what our eyes couldn't see before. Imagine when the low surface brightness scopes get going. I do want to thank everyone who came out to Kat's book signing at Barnes & Noble. The store did run out of her books and she was invited to do more and that's thanks to you. We greatly appreciate your support. Kat's books, our sweatshirts, and our hats that have been sold out for a while are fully stocked at otf.sells.com. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close and of course we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.